This recipient is an Indian-born American and British structural biologist, a fellow of the Royal Society, the US National Academy of Sciences and Trinity College, Cambridge. His parents were scientists and taught biochemistry at the Maharaja Sayaji Rao University in Baroda. He obtained his PhD in physics from Ohio University in 1976 and went on to win international recognition and numerous awards for his work. Perhaps his most prestigious is the 2009 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his part in unlocking the key to the ribosome, the protein builders in human cells. A year later, he received India's second highest civilian honor, the Padma Vibhushan, and was knighted in the 2012 New Year's Honors for services to molecular biology. Last year, a major Indian TV poll confirmed his status as one of the greatest global living Indians. And tonight, he takes the trophy for outstanding achievement in science. The winner is Venkatraman Ramakrishnan. Venkatraman Ramakrishnan now works at the Medical Research Council's Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge. In addition to his Nobel Prize, he's also claimed the Louis Jante Prize for Medicine, the Heatley Medal of the British Biochemical Society, and the Rolf Samet Professorship at the Goethe University in Frankfurt. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, I would say it's about an hour past my normal bedtime. <laughs> and um, I was very touched um, to be asked uh, to this event and be given this award because it's not often that scientists are uh, recognized except by other scientists. And it's also a little strange because if you were to ask me, if you were to ask anyone in this room, who were the billionaires of ancient Greece or ancient India or anywhere, ancient China, or who were the famous uh, actors, they wouldn't be able to tell you. But if you ask them who were the famous writers, who were the famous composers, who were the famous mathematicians and scientists, they're still alive because they advance human knowledge. Okay? So uh, it is something to think about because the Asian community, I would say, uh, perhaps because it's part of a diaspora and it's insecure, wants their children to go into financially rewarding professions. They don't want their children to be musicians. They don't want them to go into pure science. Uh, this is really, you have to think about whether you want a society uh, that doesn't have music, that doesn't have art, or that doesn't have science. Okay? So um, that's one thing. The other is I was very touched that our prime minister uh, gave us such a warm welcome through his televised uh, address. But I have to say that in the last 10 years, the uh, level of xenophobia and anti-immigration uh, rhetoric has been ramping up. Visa laws are increasingly stringent. So that it's hard for us, it's hard for us senior scientists to attract the best talent. They do not see necessarily, um, you know, the, 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 that actually Britain is really a wonderful place uh, to do science. I've received many offers from, uh, to go back to the US and I've always declined because I love working here. Uh, but that perception has to be changed and that can only come from the government and from society at large. Thank you very much. Taking the 2014 Asian Award for Outstanding Achievement in Science and Technology, Venkatraman Ramakrishnan. And our thanks to Accenture UK. The Video Hub.